Now the first step is to rename the save game folder. Now for this, before you rename the save game folder, create a backup because you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So to rename the save game folder, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now over here, you can open shooter game folder. Here you can see save folder, make a right click, cop copy this folder and you can just create a backup. Now, once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can click on rename. All the saved settings and the save game progress will be gone. You have to start everything from scratch. So you can try this. You already have a backup, so you can try this and then check. Still not working, the next step is to remove or uninstall mods. Now this is the main problem. So you can uh, uninstall or unsubscribe from mod one by one and check which mod is actually responsible. So you can just uninstall it one by one and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, then remove all the mods. Unsubscribe to all the mods, remove it, uninstall it. And then after you remove the mods, verify the game files. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Still, you are receiving the error. The next step is to try playing online or offline. So for many users, this has worked. So if you're playing single player, you can switch, uh, you can go online, try playing online and then check. If you're already online, then you can try offline and then check. Also try lowering down graphics settings. So to go to the video settings in the game, and then if everything is set to like, uh, like uh, 4K resolution is set. You can you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower it down more, and then try window mode and uh, just lower down all the graphics settings and then check. Next step is to start or restart Battle Eye service. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box, and then click on services. Now find Battle Eye service over here. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, you can make a right click, click on Start or Restart, and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall BattleEye. Now for this, make a right click in the game, select Manage, click on Browse Local Files, and then open this folder, Binaries, Win64, open BattleEye folder. Here you can see uninstall BattleEye, make a right click, click on Run as Administrator, click on Yes to Allow, and then here you can see Install BattleEye, Make a right click on install battle eye, click on run as administrator, click on yes. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, uninstall battle eye once again. And this time, do not install it from here, just launch the game. When you launch the game, it will reinstall the battle eye once again. So over here you can see starting battle eye service, then it will update. So it will install the battle eye service and then you can check. Now the next step is to uninstall. We have already, we did it. Next step is to try different launch option. So when you launch the game, let me close the game again. Now, when you click on play, if you see different launch option, you can try play arc, no battle eye, anti cheat. You can even try launch arc DX, uh, DX2, uh, 10. You can uh, try all different option and then check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to set beta participation to Aquatica. Now for this, uh, you can make a right click in the game, go to properties and go to beta tab. And then over here, you can try this pre Aquatica uh, and then you can check when you when you select this, uh, yeah, it will go through an update. Let the update complete, and then you can check. If you have the Ark Survival Ascended uh, game, you can just make a right click, and then you can try different beta versions. So over here also, if you find any beta, you can try it, and then check. Next step is to uh, 
uh, allow the game exe file to windows security uh, for this you can open windows settings uh, go to privacy and security and then go to windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allow app click on browser apps go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 open the steam folder steam apps folder open the common folder and then open the art folder shooter game binaries from win64 select all the exe file add all the exe file this is the important one and then browse all apps open battle eye add this exe file as well do the same thing in control panel to the firewall control panel uh, system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and do the same thing select all the exe file and then click on add in my case i have already added the game again allow another app click on browse and in my case i have already added everything is added in my case and then now once added now you can check now, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the, all the exe file to your antivirus program and then launch the game. The next step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this, make a right click in the game, select manage, browse local files, and then, and then find the game exe file, make a right click and uh, then go to properties. Go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game and then check still not working. Then you can try this. Run this one, select Windows 8, hit apply. Click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working. Select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so go to the nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system then click on find and then on this page the very first driver uh, the GeForce Game Ready driver, whichever is the latest, you can click on view and then you can download this file. And once the download is complete, you can run this file. Then you will see the screen. Click on yes to allow, then click on OK, and then click on agree and continue. And then select custom option, click on next, and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Once uh, you put a check, now click on next. After the installation, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check still not working run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows at box go to graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list once the game is added click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card and then launch the game desktop users connect the HDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the Intel the inbuilt graphic card now the next step is to try DX11 or DX2 in the launch option make a right click go to properties in the launch option type in dash DX11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to 
unplug all the external devices. So if your whole task, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected. If you have any kind of virtual connector, uh, controller like VJoy, etc., disconnect it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make our active on the game, select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn it off and then check. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. NVIDIA app, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off NVIDIA overlay and close all the overlay application and then check. If you have any third party services or application running on a computer, close it. Do not overclock, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reward Unit, you know, close it. If you have any kind of third party services or application running, close it. Remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is corrected when you update the system BIOS. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, make a right click in the game, manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. If the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, Try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.